curious George goes to the beach. Illustrated in the style of H.A. Ray by VP Interactive. This is George. He lived with, with his friend, the man with the, the friend, the man with the yellow hat. He was a good little monkey and always very curious. Today, the man had a surprise for George. He took George to the, to the beach. They found a spot on the warm sand. Then, then another surprise. George saw his friend Betsy. Look, Betsy, her grandmother said. It's curious George, but Betsy did not even smile. She had never been in the ocean before. She was scared. Scared. I know you're a good swimmer, the man told her. You'll be fine once you get in the water. Feeling better, Betsy walked toward the shore with her grandmother. George helped spread the beach blanket and set aside their lunch. He looked looking forward to a picnic. It was not yet time to eat. It was time to play. It was time to play. In no time, George was having fun. He learned a new game. He dug in the sand and he made a new friend. He made a new friend. Monkeys are good at making friends. When he took a break, George watched the lifeguard. The lifeguard sat in, sat in a special chair. Sometimes he blew a whistle. And sometimes he looked through binoculars. It looked like fun to be a lifeguard. George was curious. Could he, could he be a lifeguard? Before long, the lifeguard took a break. Here was George's chance. Watching the crowd, crowd from up in a special chair, George felt just like a lifeguard. He looked through the binoculars. There, there was a lot to see at the beach. George's chance. <sighs> He saw seagulls flying high above, and he saw Betsy on the shore, be shore below. She still had not been in the water. Then the lifeguard saw George. Hey, he yelled. That's no place for a monkey. George thought it was a fine place for a monkey, but he did not want to cause trouble. So he climbed down. He climbed down. Back, back at the peak. Back at the beach blanket, George was hungry for a snack. No one back at the beach. Oh, says back at the beach blanket. George was hungry for a snack. No one would miss just one cracker. That George, he took one one out and put put on put on a napkin. It looked good. Well, he would just have to get. Well. He would just have to get a new one. George found another cracker, then turned back back around. Around now, if if only he had some cheese. Uh oh, what happened to his cracker? But now his cheese was gone. Who could be taking his snacks? George was curious. He put down his cracker and waited, waited, and waited. And now George saw who was taking his cheese. It was a seagull, and he was still hungry. George took out another cracker, and the bird took it right out of his hand. What fun to do to feed a seagull! To feed a seagull. George saw more seagulls down by the water. Betsy was there too. George was curious. Could those seagulls be hungry? Indeed, they were hungry. Three hungry. Soon a whole flock had gathered. George could not feed them fast enough. Luckily, Betsy was was glad to help. One of the basket came more crackers, cookies, and cake, and even the bread for sandwiches. Soon the birds were hungry. But when George reached for more snacks, the basket was gone. He he and Betsy were having so much fun. They didn't notice the tide coming in. Hi, Bob. <laughs> They didn't notice the picnic blanket was floating out to sea. George felt bad. He hadn't meant to lose the basket. Could there be a way to to catch it? Catch it! George thought and thought. Then he remembered the lifeguard. George was no lifeguard, but to save the basket, he knew just what to do. Quickly, he found the float and carried it into the water. Jumping aboard, George began to paddle. He paddled out. 
a little further and a little further and a little further until finally he reached the basket. Betsy cheered. Then, as George paddled back to the beach, Betsy swam out to meet him. Everyone was glad to see George safe on the shore. The lifeguard, who, who had seen everything from his chair, said, that was, that was some rescue. George felt proud. The man with the yellow hat had picked up the basket. He was curious. George, is this our basket? He asked. Be poor George. After all that, the basket was empty. There would be no picnic on the beach. And it was all his fault. Then Betsy's grandmother says, said, won't you join us for lunch? He, we have plenty. And look, now we have a reason to celebrate. Thanks to George, they did have a reason to celebrate. Betsy was in the water, and she wasn't scared anymore. She was having fun. After everyone joined Betsy and George for a swim, it was time to eat at, at last. <laughs> at last. There were sandwiches and chips, bananas, cookies, and watermelon. There was plenty for everyone, and there was even a little, little for guests. The end. <sighs>